Hello everyone and welcome to another Fintech Wales Meets with me, Owain, and I'm here with Daniel from Evernock, a graduate from Foundry Season 2, and we'll be discussing what he's been up to since he left the Foundry. So thank you so much for joining me today, Daniel. If you could explain to uh, the members a little bit about Evernock, introduce yourself and the problem that you solve. So yes, I'm Dan, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Evernock, and Evernock is a home buying concierge, and we combine uh, human expertise with artificial intelligence and automation to create a home buying assistant that helps empower buyers uh, to control their home move. Uh, you can think of it as like a wedding planner for your home move. So specifically, what is the problem that is being solved then with Evernock? Yeah, so um, you know, if you've been through it, it'll be something you're really familiar with, but home buying is often seen as one of life's most stressful experiences. It's, I can definitely testify to it. Um, and it takes up a huge amount of time, uh, lacks guidance, it's not transparent at all and it just creates a lot of stress. Um, and then on the other side of things, the home moving service providers, so people like solicitors, they spend a huge amount of their working time, so up to 60% in fact, uh, managing customer queries, um, despite not doing it to the level that sort of this generation of home buyers expects. Um, and it's something we're looking to, to, to solve. So tell me a little bit more about Evernock and how it was founded, where are you now based? Yeah, sure. So uh, I founded the company in uh, May 2020, which was sort of the early days of the COVID pandemic, if I yeah. can remember the back that far. But, yeah, just um, about, yeah. Yeah, um, found it on my own initially uh, in London, where, where I'm originally from, um, but have since moved down to South Wales with, with my wife, who's, who's a, a, a Welsh native. Um, and entirely by coincidence, my, my co-founder, who I met about 12 months into my journey, um, Steve, he also lives in, in Cardiff, um, and yeah, I, I guess it's sort of a happy coincidence that we're now both based here, and you know, even though we're both adopted uh, to, this, to this country, we're very much a Welsh business. So Evernock were a Foundry graduate from season two. Um, how did the Foundry help Evernock grow uh, and develop? Yeah, I mean, the Foundry was a really great experience for us. Um, we got access to you know, a number of really senior, um, really knowledgeable people within the, the ecosystem here in Wales. Um, frankly, that you know, we couldn't have dreamed of, of having access to. So that's been brilliant to, to leverage their experience. Um, we also you know, were, were able to articulate our vision, which you know, is so important with, with our brand awareness. Um, and I think one of the other things is that we got uh, access to a, a group of like-minded founders um, who we get to sort of knock ideas about with um, and that's really helped on our journey because it, it can be a tough one. Are there any milestones that you're particularly proud of hitting since you left uh, the foundry and we spoke last? Yeah, of course. So we've been super busy since leaving the foundry. Um, you know, the most recent thing is, is we got um, uh, awarded Consumer Services Startup of the Year at the Startup Awards Wales. So, you know, super humbling to, to yeah, do yeah. that. Um, we've raised uh, some pre-seed funding from a group of angel investors, um, most of which are, are based in Wales, actually. We've also got some, some grant funding um, from an organisation called Geovation, who are backed by Land Registry and uh, Ordnance Surveys. Super important for a, yeah. a pop tech company like us um, and we've recently signed some agreements with some uh, uh, estate agency groups uh, super forward thinking ones um, that we're looking to roll out with uh, you know in the near future so as a foundry graduate from season two Evernock are a fintech wales member uh, as well um, how does that benefit Evernock and why is it so important to Evernock to be a fintech wales member so fintech wales mission to um, be a centre of, of innovation uh, in the tech sector has always really resonated with me. I've been fortunate enough to have been part of the London tech system and the Welsh uh, ecosystem and, and I've been able to compare the two and, and while each has its, its advantages, I think something that's completely unique to Wales is the access that you get to, to people that are you know, extremely connected, extremely senior and have huge amounts of experience and you just don't get that anywhere else. Um, uh, you know, we've benefited greatly from access to potential partners um, that, that we're now working with um, that are helping us offer things like you know AML checks and ID verification and home buyer tax insurance reservation agreements loads more that's essential to the home buying journey yeah. and I think that's really cool. 
So what's next for Evernock? What does the future hold? Yeah, some really exciting stuff coming up. Um, in the next couple of months, we're going to be releasing our sort of game-changing home buying app, which you know is going to help consumers navigate this this experience as well as you know have access, direct access to their own concierge and, and all the services that they they employ. Um, and we'll also be looking at, at hiring our, our first few employees, um, both on the commercial side and uh, development side as well. So really exciting. So how can people if they want to be first on this app or, or find out information about that, what can they do? Yes, I mean, we're live now. So if you are buying or selling or thinking about it, then um, yeah, please do get in touch. Either me directly, you're welcome to email me down at evernock.com um, or head to our website, evernock.com and, and you can start your journey there. Thank you so much, Daniel. I'll see you again. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.